All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on a 1969 uh, police cruiser, but actually the name that uh, Hot Wheels went with was just cruiser. If you find a button, the button says police cruiser, but I guess they, they used the police cruiser name for the later Olds 442. So we have a few problems here. First, I thought this front here was bent, but that's actually how it's supposed to be. And we have a cracked windshield. I already drilled this apart on a Instagram video. So make sure you follow me over there. Sometimes I do stuff just for over there. Use the 172 button head screws. I don't have a new windshield, so it's just gonna have to be this one. So first Hot Wheels with a tampon. There's a few variations with this one. This ring, this one right here is the most common one. Let me take this out so I could show you. Look, it's cracked on the roof. It works the same way as the old 442. You can see the, the dome here create some kind of pressure on the windshield here and sometimes it breaks it this comes apart like this you could open it up and then close it back up to clean it all right so here you can see that the model was white and they messed off to paint the hood and the trunk area black there's a different variation where it's light blue and there's another variation where you can clearly see that they painted the whole thing white and then they masked off I mean I'm sorry they painted the whole thing black and then they masked off the hood and the trunk then painted white so notice that this one the paint goes all the way to the border here to the edge and on the back a lot of them you're gonna see that they have a where they taped off or I think they don't I don't think they use tape they had some kind of jig that would cover the car because it, it it would take too long to use tape so most likely they had a jig where you could just put it on top and just spray paint the rest I do have the the water slides I bought it online I have to clean clean this up it's a mess who knows I'm gonna try to see if I could get a windshield now now I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna clean this all right it's going on the paint stripper and I'll be back all right guys I'm back next day check it out change of plans so this is the beauty of not doing voiceovers so if I change my mind you're gonna hear about it so I thought about painting the whole thing black and then taping off this area right here but since the car was originally all white I'm gonna go with that so first step I'm gonna use a duplicate color metal cast base coat right I like using this because it works as a filler so any little tiny holes this will do a very good job of filling it right baking it of course it, this it works perfect when you bake the car 170 degrees Fahrenheit like two or three minutes and also helps uh, it dry real quick 
then for white I'm going to use primer I'm going to use this dupli color sandable you know, fills light scratches so whatever this doesn't cover this will get it done on the plus side it dries really quick right I'll let it dry maybe I don't know a few minutes tape it off on the side the top and then I'm going to be using this Vallejo black primer notice that everything is flat nothing is glossy because then it just creates a mess well, you can work with flat paints a lot better than glossy paints this Vallejo I showed it in one of my uh, previous Vallejo paint video this thing works better than any other brand out there when it comes to black I bought many black paints and this is just awesome it comes with two caps small and big big for larger jobs but it sprays so nice and even and it's flat then one once everything comes together I'll put in the water slide then I'll clear coat everything with uh, urethane or I, it can be the main wax I've repeated this many times main wax over the time it turns yellow so if you do it over white it'll become yellow I actually have a card that I did a long time ago I'll try to find it at the end so I can show you what I mean alright so let me do this this and I'll be back alright so it's been like 30 minutes check it out I have three types of tapes I mean three type of sizes because they're all Tamiya this is 18 millimeters six and I think this is two bought this a long time ago I think it was Amazon this is a little trick I do look why put all this tape right so what I do is bend it now you have that little piece of tape, right? Now I'll just keep putting more tape and paint. I gotta paint outside with these paints because they're they're really smelly. I'll be back. been out of the oven took like 10 minutes got water slides from red line shop you remember how they go are you gonna have to look at pictures to figure that out the star goes the back door now notice a 
notice that uh, the car is not glossy. I did not clear coat it. There's a few reasons why. You should clear coat it because it makes it easier to apply the water slide. Also, if you clear coat the car, it's a lot better when it comes to blending the water slide so it disappears under the clear coat okay but taking my chances micro set not micro soul micro soul it's not needed for this now the purpose of clear coating is it will help you move the water slide a lot better and put it into position until you're happy with its final destination, right? But here's the thing. If I clear coat it, I got to bake it again and maybe wait another 20 minutes, 25 minutes. If you not in a rush, I'm not in a rush. It's just sometimes I like to do things different. You know what I mean? I mean, why do everything the way that it's supposed to be done and not show you different options, right? So you saw I'm using water and the micro set, a mixture of both. So this is gonna create that layer which is supposed to help me move the water slide let me see if I can fish it out okay here we go okay I dropped it but it's right here remember star goes in the back door all right so I'm gonna move this right here the trick is try to get it as aligned as you can so you don't have to move it that much. I don't know, but that looks pretty good to me. still move but it's only because I used the micro set first now using a piece of paper towel you got to rip it because these little hairs it's what really sucks up all that excess water you saw that Now, I gotta do the other side and clear coat it. I'll be back. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at uh, what we started with. The 1969 police cruiser, all beat up. And uh, this is the finished product. Check it out. So I polished the windshield with some turtle wax. I have a complete video on how to restore windshields. I polished the, the dome light also. Then I dipped it in the pledge, revive it. I also dipped the, the windshield. I installed some deep dish red line wheels, which I know uh, this car did not have but those are the ones that I like so that's what I installed deep dish wheels or deep dish boobies how I like to call them so this 
is the 1973 old 442 police cruiser which like I said at the beginning was the car that technically has the name police cruiser this one is just cruiser but if you look online you can see them both as police cruiser I was gonna go into the clear coat like I mentioned at the beginning I decided that I think it's time for me to do a complete video on the clear coat when it comes to white or clear coat in general but I, I am going to show you the difference like I said at the beginning look that's a white car painted with a main wax clear coat this is also another one you see the difference in white this one doesn't have any clear coat it's just glossy Krylon enamel spray paint notice how this one the one we did today was all primers everything I use was primers and look how it turned out so I have a complete police squad here I'm not gonna redo this it serves as a teaching or how to demonstrate what comes of the Ming wax within time so it does get yellow but once the the diecast mafia build invitational video post uh, I'll go into details about the clear coat because uh, there's something I do on that video which I already recorded that uh, I have to talk about afterwards so look I think I'm gonna have to start doing this with every video because there's people leaving comments on videos that are like six years old and they don't take the time to uh, look at the time or the date that it was posted 10th of April 10 29 10 30 at night I started this the car yesterday Friday night around I think it was 11 30 I guess the car was already pre-drilled dumped it in the paint stripper got up this morning uh, cleaned it up painted it this morning I got done painting it I did the windshield last night also I just didn't record that dipped it in the pledge last night cleaned the base with lime away it up see how it turned out nice and clean did the tail lights today also and uh, I went about my day after clear coating the car uh, I got time to do everything I needed to do today I went food shopping everything I even bought a whiskey I recorded two videos two whiskey videos one for the Instagram whiskey Instagram and one for the whiskey channel if you want to I'll put a link somewhere around here if you want to check that video out and uh, I drank some whiskey and now I'm recording this 10 30 at night start to finish a restoration in one day well actually technically in two days because I started last night but it can be done it can be done if uh, if you really want to it can be done so let me know what you think of the finished product over here I think it it ended up being a very nice restoration alright guys that's gonna be it thank you for watching peace out